I can have with me again. Hello, Ishmael hello, Fontaine. Hello, BWTM. Big up the ting. Yes. Victory. Yes, man. You win. Oh, man. Talk to me about it. Um, to be 100% honest, that's not even our peak. But they caught Nick on the night where he was upset about something because the geezer went eight. You know, I mean, 24 points in the first half and everyone else can shoot. What do you do? What do you say? It's, 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 it's tricky. Well, I think what might have been, do you think a conversation on the, in the car coming up, in the taxi coming up, we were talking about him or me just calling him red card. Yeah, I said, yeah, the yeah, first yeah. time I see a Trini, yeah, yeah, yeah. he has to be the man to get the red card. Yeah, man. So that, and when he was hitting them threes, I was screaming, he's yeah. a Trini. I yeah, had yeah, to. Yeah. Because, you know, the thing is with Nick, one, one, the great thing about Nick, and I'm going to get onto the whole team, but the great thing about Nick is he has so much courage and so much confidence in himself and his game and what he does that he could have missed five of those ones and we, he would have still got back in the shot with the same confidence. And I think that's a testament to his game and that's a good, great thing for the kids to see, you know, because, you know, man, he had 35, it was easy and he wasn't stressed or nothing. Um, foul trouble, we've got to look at keeping teams off the line when we're up. In my opinion, that's the only negative thing I think we could say about when we're up by 20. We don't want them to be on the foul line shooting the shots when the clock is stopped. That's my only pet peeve. But other than that, I think it was excellent. That's the first time I thought, wow, team defense. We're talking, we're switching, we're talking. Everyone's ready. Everyone's doing their schemes. The first half you looked great, and yeah. then when you came out again after the the, the, the talk, you came out lackluster, common like like complacent almost. Yeah. Why is that? Do you think? You know. I think it's, you know, what we had is big momentum, momentum, momentum. If it was a running clock and we didn't have a half time, we'd have been right here again. Yeah, I would have been so, I mean? yeah. We'd have been right here. But you come out, the game's been stopped. You know, we're, we're thinking about adjustments they're going to make. They're making adjustments. They made good adjustments. Yeah. They did. They, went, they attacked the basket more in the second half. They moved the ball quicker. Herm, Herm got it out of his hands quicker. So. They ran their offense good. They, they they trapped the pick and rolls. They did lots of things in the second half mm -hmm. that stopped us from playing with a flow. So mm -hmm. I've got a I've got a really I've got a really commend uh, Ben Guyman of um, Solid Kestrels and his coaching staff because I had to go. Me and um, Zaire we went to watch them play because we understood the level they are. They're a high level. They're a good. Sola is a uh, unit, uh, good unit. It's a good. It's a good testament to the how of this okay. league. Right. You know? Okay. They 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 well run. They got good players and they play together. So we had to watch them play. We had to understand what they were trying to do on the floor. Mm -hmm. And I think it was it was really good. I, I was really happy. Um, really, yeah. Talk to me about the ref today. There were some decisions that your players weren't happy about. I mean, in every game we've got players on that happy about decisions. But there were some fouls and some thing calls there that the players were not happy about. Yeah, I think I think there needs to be some clarity on how to defend the post in this league. I don't know what they want us to do. You know, or, you know. I mean, Alex, the guy who's elbowing Alex and he's po posting the mark, Alex goes to post the geezer up himself. Alex is a strong geezer. And then he gets called for it. I've so seen his, it. His shoulder's down. He's, he's upright. I didn't see anything like this. So there needs to be some sort of clarity in the league some communication in the league so we can make adjustments because it's not fair. Not, it's not that it's not fair, but it's not fun. The game's just stopping and we're calling charges all up and down because obviously if they're getting a the charge and we're getting a charge, if they're getting a the charge and we're getting a the charge, it means there's a lack of communication or a lack of yep. like cohesion of what the refs understand to be a foul and what yep. the players understand to be a foul. Mm -hmm. So when that happens, I think it will improve. Okay, fantastic. Um, rest of the team, players today. Oh man. Kevin Moyo, let me just say, Herm was an MVP candidate. And in my opinion, Kevin shut him down today. The geezer, I, I tried to guard him and the geezer spun me and I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? Like, what do I do? Because I was going to clamp him, but he yeah. spun so quick I couldn't clamp him. Kevin Moyo, didn't, I don't even know if he scored. He scored, he hit a three. They dared him to shoot, yeah. which was, come on, low eye. Um, but Kevin Moyo, he don't get enough credit. He gets a lot of grief because he's very important to our defense. He's super, he's super athlete, um, and I think Kevin Moyo today, what, when the game was getting tight, he was doing things where other guys could, because you know how Zaire is, he can steal, yeah. and Alex can steal and rebound. Yeah. Kevin Moyo sped up, sped up Herm, and he made Herm turn the ball over. And I'll say that right now. 
Pat Giza in the second half, his defense was so clutch. Tom Ward. Oh man, Tom Ward, he's just nice. You know, the dude, like, you, you might not, you gotta watch the game back. Yeah. Tom got fouled about four or five times on his shots. <laughs> he, he, but he's, you know, he makes you do this with his hesitations. Yeah. He fakes with his eyes, he fakes with his body, and his mid range is, is unbelievable. I loved watching the geezer play. Like, sometimes, yeah. I mean, coach was calling me today. Tom had a, he's like, ish, ish, ish. I'm sitting there daydreaming watching Tom play. Just like, you know, daydream. The geezer is, is nice. I really, really like this game. And Zaire went off, he looked injured and he came back and... I mean, I think he just twinged his ankle a bit, where, where he, just, he just needed a, um, he needed a break. Yep. It might have been fatigue. <laughs> uh, uh, if it was fatigue, I don't know, I don't know. But... Came back came on the game, he, he, he played he, very well. Oh, I think so. But I mean, when you've got, you got faith, what can you do? I don't, I, personally, Zaire for me, when you've got a player like Isaiah Zaya's calibre, but then you've got Nick Lewis scoring 34, 35 points in two games. Yeah. Peter scored 70 plus in two games, right? What do you do? Because you've got Alex, who's an unbelievable three-point shooter. Like, it's stressful. Because you've got to throw bodies at him now. Yep. And he's, Nick, he's, even though he scored 35, mm -hmm. he's not selfish. He will pass the ball. So it's, it's, uh, right now, I think the league are a bit stressed out, to be honest. And, uh, and, 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 and the opponents, how do you think they feel today? I, mean, I think they're an excellent team. Uh -huh. I'm glad we don't see them for a little while now. I think okay. they're an excellent team. I honestly, 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 I love them. Well, well, uh, I watched them play yesterday against Bark and Abbey. They beat Barkin by 35. Yeah. And no one had to do anything out of the ordinary. Zaya told me that he looked forward to beating them again. Yeah, I know. It's a, it's a rival. Don't get me wrong, they're rivals. And I don't want to lose to them. But I really, really like the way they play. What's this bit about they don't show us respect so we don't show them no damn respect? Um, I, think players have said that. I think something happened at the end of the game when someone was like, shoot it, and we shot it. We're a very emotional team. Yeah. We do that to each other in practice. So yeah. I feel like the other teams, they're going to get the same that we give to each other. They're okay. going to get worse. So. Ishmael, as always, thank you. BWTM, big up yourself.